Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily add a watermark to your PDF document using Acrobat. Originally, watermarks were faint designs used only in paper manufacturing, but digital watermarks are helpful for displaying a document's copyright information, author, or even a logo. To add a watermark to a PDF, first open the Tools pane within the Task pane. Then click the Watermark button that appears in the Edit Page Design section within the Pages panel of the Task pane, and then choose the Add Watermark command from the drop-down menu that appears in order to open the Add Watermark dialog box. If you have a saved watermark setting that you want to use, simply select the name of the saved setting from the Saved Setting drop-down to have Acrobat restore your saved watermark settings. To create a new text watermark, click into the text box and type the watermark text into the text box. As you type, you'll see the text appear in the preview section to the right. You can then use the font drop-down box to select a font style. You can choose a font size for the text from the size drop-down. You can apply underlining to the text by clicking the underline button. You can click the font color box and then select a color for the font from the drop-down menu. If your watermark text takes up more than one horizontal line, you can also choose whether to center the watermark or align it to the left or right sides of the page by clicking the Align Left, Align Center, or Align Right buttons. Note that the formatting must be applied to all text within the watermark and not to text selected within the text box. Alternately, you can create a watermark from a picture file or page from a PDF file. This is useful if you want to use a logo or trademark instead of regular text to create your watermark. To create an image or page watermark, first click the File Option button in the Source area of the Add Watermark dialog box. Next, click the Browse button and navigate to find the file to use as a watermark. Select it and then click the Open button. You will see an image of the file shown in the preview section to the right. If you selected a PDF file, then choose the page of the PDF to use as the watermark by using the Page Number Spinner box. You can also specify an absolute scale of the image within the page by typing a value into the Absolute Scale Spinner box. Then, for both text and image watermarks, the next step is to adjust the appearance of the watermark so that it is visible on the page, but doesn't prevent the content of the PDF from being viewed. You can do this by using the tools in the Appearance section within the Watermark dialog box. You can rotate the watermark within the page by choosing an Option button in the Rotation section. Note that if you select the Custom Rotation option, you can enter the Custom Rotation in Degrees into the adjacent spinner box. You can then enter the percentage of opacity for the watermark by typing it into the Opacity spinner box or by using the adjacent slider to set the percentage. 25% is a good opacity level for many watermarks. You can adjust the scale of the watermark relative to the page by checking the Scale Relative to Target Page checkbox and then entering the scaling percentage of the page size to use into the adjacent spinner box. You can designate whether the watermark should appear on top of the page contents or behind the contents by choosing the desired option button in the location section. 
You can click the Appearance Options hyperlink to set additional options in the Appearance Options dialog box. You can check or uncheck the options to show when printing, show when displaying on screen, and keep the position and size of the watermark constant when printing on different page sizes to enable or disable those features. Then click the OK button to apply them. In the Position section, you can manually position the watermark by entering values into the vertical distance and horizontal distance spinner boxes. You would then select a unit of measure for those values from the adjacent drop-downs for both. Then choose the anchor point in the page from which to measure each of those distances by selecting one from the adjacent from drop-down point for both. By default, the watermark will be added to all of the pages in your PDF. To add a watermark to only one page, or to a series of pages, you can click the Page Range Options hyperlink in the top right corner of the Add Watermark dialog box to launch the Page Range Options dialog box, where you can specify to which pages the watermark should be applied. You can then click the OK button in the dialog box to apply it to the selected pages. To save your current watermark settings so that you can apply them to other PDF documents in the future by simply choosing the name of the saved setting from the Saved Settings drop-down, click the Save Settings button at the top of the Add Watermark dialog box. In the Save Settings dialog box, type a name for the saved settings and then click the OK button. When you have the watermark settings the way that you want, you can then click the OK button to apply the changes and add the watermark to the PDF. To update an existing watermark, click the Watermark button in the Edit Page Design section in the Pages panel, and then select the Update command from the drop-down menu to launch the Update Watermark dialog box, which is the same as the Add Watermark dialog box. Once again, make any changes to the settings shown here that you want, and then click the OK button to apply them. To remove a watermark, click the Watermark button in the Edit Page Design section in the Pages panel, and then select the Remove command from the drop-down menu. Click the Yes button in the pop-up message box that asks you to confirm your choice to remove the watermark. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.